Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. The topic for the, today's video is going to be did Peko Bagnaya actually cheat or use underhanded methods to win at the Jerez Grand Prix. Before we get into the video guys, let me tell you that this is not going to be any sort of a clickbait video. What I'm going to give you is just facts. So at the end of the video, you can make an informed decision and tell me your thoughts down below if you think that Peko has actually cheated or gained an unfair advantage. So guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to tell you a little bit of information about the front tire that Michelin provides the riders so that you can better understand this entire scenario. So guys, Michelin, the tire supplier for MotoGP, has faced a lot of criticism for the front tire that it has given the riders. There have been reports of riders complaining about the front tire being too unpredictable and unreliable and the riders are very unhappy with this. One factor that stresses the front tire on a MotoGP bike is the rear ride height or the whole shot device. The rear ride height device lowers the bike from the rear and it gives it improved acceleration and prevents a wheelie. But after the start, coming into turn 1, the ride height device has now popped back into its default position and while braking for turn 1, you see more and more pressure exerted on the front tyre. That is because obviously the pressure under braking and the weight of the ride height device. Because of this, immense stress comes on the tyre and they cannot reach its optimum working temperature. We have also seen another instant in Jerez where a lack of overtakes happened. And the reason for this is because the riders behind were unable to manage the tire pressure when closing in on the bike in the front. I'll explain this guys. The front tire of the bike behind would get very close to the rear tire of the bike in the front and the heat given off by the bike in the front would actually affect the front tire pressure of the bike behind and it made it hard to overtake. The heat given off by the bike in the front would actually increase the front tire pressure considerably and it would make it hard for the riders to overtake. So because of this, what the riders and the teams did was they lowered the front tire pressure in order to actually better manage this phenomenon. But guys, the optimum front tire pressure is agreed upon by the MSMA and Michelin and the exact value is not given by the organization but it is agreed upon that there has to be a minimum value and a maximum value. But it has been found that Peko was running a tire pressure lower than the minimum allowed tire pressure during the race and that actually has given him an unfair advantage and that has actually resulted in his race win. So guys, Peko has used an inferior tire pressure than what is allowed and people are saying that that has definitely given him an advantage. What do you think? I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. When Ducati was told about this, obviously they denied all of this and they say that this is not very true and what not but that is an obvious reaction that would come from Ducati. They're just not going to go and admit it. So what do you think guys? Can you accuse Peko and Ducati of cheating in this situation? Also guys, another question that must be coming in your mind that if so many riders are complaining about the front tire, why does Michelin not do something about it? So guys, because of the COVID restrictions in MotoGP, the development was freezed and Michelin has not been able to actually work upon the front tire. Yes, the new front tire could be in works, but as of now, it has not come out because of the development that was halted due to COVID. So that is the reason for not being able to come up with a better front tire. So guys, that was it for this video. What do you think? Has Peko used an unfair advantage? Has he not? I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And guys, uh, before I end the video, if you liked what you see, like button. If you dislike what you see, dislike button twice. Also guys, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you do not forget to hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.